All right, so we have this problem. You got yesterday, you were asked to do your best on solving this. And we're going to go over it right now. You can correct any mistakes you made if you need to. The problem reads like this. Georgia makes scrapbooks as a hobby. She bought three post-pound scrapbooks for $6.95 each and five strap hinge albums for $14.99 each. Write out the steps in words that can be used to find the total cost in dollars of the scrapbooks. Then write an equation that you could use to solve the problem. Then solve the problem. And I know I've said it a few times, but thinking in words, ignoring the numbers, is going to make a huge difference in your understanding how to solve problems. Thinking in words, ignoring the numbers, is a great strategy and will really help you if you're willing to do it. Keaton. Yes. You need to make sure that the words you're writing to solve the problem match what the problem says. So Jessica, if I asked you to explain in words how to solve this problem, what would you put? Felix, you got an idea? Oh, um, I would just write down that I would add um, 6 and 95.3. Yeah, see, that, that's, that's numbers. That's numbers. I don't want any numbers, even if the numbers are written in word form. Ella Rose? Um, um, you, uh, first, you would do the post, post uh, count the scrapbooks. Okay, the number of post pound. Is this what you were trying to tell me, Keaton? The number of post pound scrapbooks. Now, what would you do with that? Um, uh, you would... Take the my number of post pound scrapbooks. Take that and then and multiply that for uh, uh, how many times. And so multiply by the cost of each yeah, one. Yeah, multiply by the cost. Uh, then you would take uh, uh, the strap hinge albums and, and multiply the number of those by the cost. Then you would add both of your totals together. Stop, Jay. And then we would add these two products together. That is in words how you would solve this problem. Once you know in words how to solve the problem, it's very easy to then write your equation. Very easy then to write your equation. Number of post pound. And the number of post pound is three. Multiply by the cost of each. The cost of each post pound is $6.95. We're gonna add that to the number of strap hinges. Multiplied by the cost of each strap hinge. And remember, an equation is one, one problem with multiple steps. This is one problem with multiple steps. We're not going to do the 695 plus 695 plus 695 equals, and then add that to 1499. We're not doing it that way. We're writing an equation. 
Now listen, my job is to teach you skills that will help you not only this year, but as you get older and move into the future. Okay? Now, estimate. I have said the word estimate or estimation. I went back in time and I counted it. I have said that 629 times this year, and I'm going to say it again. Estimation. Because I can make a really good estimate right here to figure out what my answer will be close to. I can multiply 3 times $7, and that's going to equal what? $21. $21. I can multiply five times $15. Now, see, this is how I do five times 15. If I know five times two is 30, five times four would be what? 60. If five times two is 30, five times four would be 60. And then I would just add 15 more, which is easy to do in my head, would be 75. Now, my estimate would be 21 plus 75, which would give me 75, 85, 95, 96 dollars. That's my estimate, 96 dollars. So when I solve this problem, I should be looking, my answer should be somewhere near 96 dollars. Somewhere near 96 dollars. Now, I'm, I'm too lazy to actually do the math, but since we've set it all up for you, that part ought to be easy. Multiply 3 times $6.95, multiply 5 times $14.99, and then add those two products together. We wrote down in words how to solve it. So in your journal, every one of you will have in words how to solve it. Every one of you, when you glue this in your journal on that page, you'll have an equation that you use to solve it. We always estimate because that's going to make our lives much, much easier and many fewer mistakes than we would normally make in life. And then, as I said, your solution, three dollars or three times six dollars and ninety five cents plus five times fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Add those two products together and you'd get your answer which i'm not giving you because i'm too lazy keaton i have an answer <laughs> if, could you do um could, wait could you do fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents no dollars no and $6.95, add those together, and then do 5 times 3? No, because if you do that, you're going to get something around $21, and then add 5 times 3, that's going to give you 15, and that's not going to give you an answer anywhere near 96. You have to multiply the amount they bought by the cost of what they bought, the amount they bought by the cost of what they bought, and then add those two products together. Other questions? Awesome sauce. You love.